Joining me today in the technical corner is Lee from LMT UK. And Lee, we're going to talk about probably one of your better known products, Threading. So if we start with the thread rolling initially. Yeah, so a lot of people know LMT Fete for thread rolling. Uh, I think it was launched in the market in 1952. We spent a lot of time over the years reinventing the, the sort of technology in this, making it more user friendly, making it easier for, easier for the customers to use. So if we zoom into this bit here, you can see that the torque screw here is, a, is an adjustment screw, so you can lock it into place and then you can lock that in to close the rolls. If it's not in a position of your machine, you can then undo that and then you can move it around to mm -hmm. suit where you need it. So for those, uh, uh, the majority of people probably don't use thread rolling in truth, do they? They probably use a lay down thread in, uh, in system. Why should people use this? So the benefit of using a thread rolling head is it produces the threads really quick. So in the times that you take to screw cut a thread, probably eight passes, nine passes to get that thread right, this will do it in one pass. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's seconds. And then what it does, it also creates a stronger thread. So as you're screw cutting that thread, you, you're, getting the co you're releasing the compound from the material. Mm -hmm. With a thread roller, it, it compresses the compounding material, therefore giving you a stronger thread. Similar argument to thread roll, uh, thread, thread roll taps, I suppose, to yeah. cutting taps, isn't it? It's the, it's the same argument, yeah. Um, it's just obviously for external threads. Mm -hmm. So these th these thread rolling boxes, obviously these go on on a, on a CNC lathe. But how large can you go? Can you have them for standalone machines and things? Yeah, so we do these in radial, axial, uh, tangential heads. So we've got a, ra a wide range of heads for for different processes of your machine. But we can go if you needed a big head, it'd be classed as say an F seven hundred that can bolt to your machine mm -hmm. if you, if you need to get in. But then on the smaller heads with the shanks. We've also got uh, straight shank VDI and HKS to, mm -hmm. to, to suit the wide range of machines. Sure, and just looking at the size of a catalog, some companies that, that's the size of their catalog, and that is just yours for thread rolling. So thread clearly, it's, 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 it's clearly it's a large range. And now, you know, talking about internal threaded tapping in this case, that is very very unique. Tell us about the, that. Yeah, piece. so this is sort of like a market first that we've we've introduced. So we've called this the exchange tap, and what that is is it's a steel shank and the carbide head. So your carbide head fits to your steel shank. If you want me to yeah, demonstrate please do. that, I can put that together. So that just screws in there. And straight away, I'm guessing the main benefit to this is you're only paying for the carbide you need. Once you've got the holder, you keep the so holder. That, and obviously the most expensive part of that is always going to be the carbide, but that's a consumable product as opposed to get rid of the whole tap. Yeah, so that's what we thought. We thought we need to make a tap in the market that is reasonable for customers. So once the initial layout's been bought out and you've got your steel shank in your head, you then only need to replace the heads. What we found in the market is that the carbide works well with the steel, so it gives you a bit more flexibility. So you're not so ideally on a on a carbide tap. If it hits a hard spot, the tap's gone. You've got a bit more flexibility in this, where we find it's only breaking the head. So then you only need to replace the head. This this tap is only really for cast iron, though. It's short tip, short chipping materials. <laughs> That's a wonderful tap. Tell me about the range. So the range starts from M8 and it goes all the way up to M20. We've then got different threads in there. So you've got metric fine, UNF and UNC. And I'm guessing both of these products are going to need some sort of technical assistance, aren't they? It's not a C and MG at the end of the day. So how do LMT help engineers adopt this technology? So LMT will go out onto site and we will offer sort of basic training to them and show them how to set the heads up, how to, how to set the tap up. And we will be there to assist with that. Brilliant. So many thanks, Lee. If you'd like more information on these innovational products, why not speak to the team at LMT UK?